All right, so we're back here in the studio and we're gonna look at vocal effects. So vocal effects, as I'm gonna show you, are kind of like uh, Instagram filters for your voice, as my colleague Meredith says. And they can be a really fun way to spice it up, make it more interesting, uh, and a lot of my students really enjoy this. So if you click on edit on any audio track, so this is an audio track, an audio recording of my voice, I click on edit, I can go to voice transform, and if you're more musical, you might do it by musical interval. Otherwise, you might go to character and you might do a fun one like alien voice. This is a super goofy one the kids really like. So here is alien voice. Hey everyone, Mr. Han here. So we're going to take today and tomorrow to get comfortable with... And you can hear the original before that effect was on. I just clicked undo up here. Hey everyone, Mr. Han here. And I might try one more just so you can see the options. I can go in here and let's do robot. Robot's fun. And here you can hear a robot voice effect. Hey everyone, Mr. Han here. So we're gonna take today and tomorrow to get Pretty cool. And then you can just click undo if you wanna undo it and try a different one out or just keep it standard. And one other way to do effects on your voice is if you click this instrument button right here, this little circle, it's gonna bring up this window, and then you can go to effects. You can add new effects here, or you can make adjustments to the effects that are already here, uh, as well as adjust the reverb. So reverb is kind of a, the most common effect. Uh, for most podcasting applications, you're probably not gonna want any reverb because it makes it sound like you're in a big hall. Sounds like this. Hey everyone, Mr. Han here probably don't want that so I'll probably just keep that turned down um, yeah but I could always go in here and add all kinds of other effects so that's it for this one see you in the next one